what's going on guys so today we're gonna have another video on the or not another video we're gonna have a video on the stacking tins these are brand new they were about like 10 to 15 dollars each i believe and we have lightning grass and water and we're gonna see which pokemon product will give us the best hits so let's go ahead and unpack everything and we'll start with hmm, what's gonna be the best we'll go we'll go grass first then we'll go um, water, and then we'll go lightning, because I do like lightning the best, even though the water color looks really sweet. Let's go ahead and open this. I am going to need some scissors, so give me like one second. There we go. I found some scissors. I'm going to cut this open. I realize there's so much like shipping and handling, and a lot of basically fluff like whenever i order stuff from like a store an online store there's so much fluff that comes with it way too much all right i'm actually gonna what i'm gonna do first is unwrap everything so that it's a lot it's nice and easy we can go straight through so if you guys want to skip the unraveling be my guest i wouldn't blame you as the unwrapping portion may be the worst part or i mean for some it may be the best, I suppose, if you like ASMR. <laughs> Whoops, that was like a slingshot. And it feels like these are like pretty hollow. So I don't know what comes inside, but it sounds like a coin as well. I'd be assuming. Oh yeah, the, the lightning one is really cool though. And so is the water. Alrighty, let's start with the grass. We're gonna open this. Check out the artwork, we got a Decidueye, a Whimsicott, and then a Bailey. So probably the least popular, oh, and Eligos. Probably the least popular out of the three, but that means it's probably gonna have the best packs because the least popular products always have the best packs. What do we got here? Got a, uh, it's pretty hollow. Got a Gookie coin. That's new. I've been only seeing Eevees and Charizards and Blastoise. We have a Gookie coin, not bad. And let's see the packs. We have Evolving Skies, it actually is in pretty good shape. Good Voltage and Chilling Rain, so not even half bad. All right, let's go ahead and open this and get started. This will be... Don't do it, kitty. This will be um, the Grass Tin. I said don't do it and you did it anyway. This will be the grass tin. I always know when he shakes his butt and gives that look, he's like about to jump. All right, we got a green and white code card. Can the grass tin come on top? If, you, are you, if you're a uh, grass Pokemon fans, let me know. All right, we got a uh, Psychic Energy, an Avery, a Ledian, an Old Cemetery, a Sveal, a Craw Baller, a Golit, Porygon, Grookey, a reverse hollow hat room and then a saws buck. So not looking too good for the grass. Not looking too good for the grass. Well, my favorite win, I actually really like the blue tin, but I'm gonna pick the uh, electric tin to win because it looks, the Pokemon will look, it look really cool. Pokemon on it looks really cool. All right, here we go. I'm guessing we're gonna get different uh, coins each time. Green and white code card again for good voltage. I think we can still get a trainer gallery in this one. We got a, another psychic energy, a go goat, got a winden stadium, a matang, a slugma, a whismer, an execute, a woobat, a beldum. Whoa, we got a shining, or we got a rayquaza. Um, what's this called? <sighs> I forgot what it's called. Uh, amazing rare, yeah, amazing rare. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. And then we have a Samurott. So the grass tin is going to start off with a Rayquaza Amazing Rare. So that's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see if the grass tin will continue. We have one more pack. So maybe you can get really good things out of, um, like, I, would, I wouldn't call this a bad product, but like a less popular product, you know? Maybe all the, wow, see how easy that came off? Maybe the good products are, the good packs are 
on the bad products is my assumption. But then then again, I pulled a uh, on oh, three green green and black code cards in a row. It's bad. I pulled a uh, alt art Umbreon in a Espeon tin. That was like a really good one. So I don't know. Maybe it is completely random. Got a Fighting Energy, an Avalug, a Zinnia's Resolve. Very cool. A Lucky Ice Pop, a Scraggy, a Drowsy, a Mareep. Got a Dwebble, Dweeble, Carvana, Reverse Hollow Milotic, not even bad. And then Altaria. So realistically, this is what the Grass Tin is going to hold. Is just the Shining Rayquaza. So we'll close that up real quick. Next up, we have the Water Tin. We have a Wishy Washy. Got a Chewtle, a Lapras, and an Azumarill. So not bad. Not bad. And assuming the same packs. But we got a Sobble Coin instead. So very cool. Chilling Rain. Vivid Voltage. Bubbling skies, same three packs. All right, let's get into it. I have so many tins now that I have to like liquidate somehow. <laughs> Definitely have to liquidate. All right, put this on the floor. We'll pick that up later. Another green and white code card. So we got four in a row. That's really bad. Maybe they put all the trash packs in this one. <laughs> all right, we got a darkness energy, a reboot, an Agatha, got a fog crystal. A Galarian Slowpoke, a Weedle, Clavapus, Mareep, a Ralts, a Verse Holocelio, and then a Glade. So not looking too hot to start off for the Water Tin either. Well, I guess that's good for my Lightning Tin, but like technically, I just want to pull something good, realistically speaking, from either set. Black and white? No, we got another green. That's five greens in a row. Maybe this is a product that you guys shouldn't pick up because... The hit ratio on this product isn't as good. Maybe not. Got a Fire Energy, a Loudred, a Wind and Stadium again, a Zeb Striker, a Shuppet, Puchiana, Voldorb, a Rough Rock Rough, a Taylo, a Reverse Hollow Leak Staff, not bad. And then our final card is going to be a Jolteon, not Hollow Rare. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right. It all comes down to this last pack. Can we get at least one hit from... From the stacking tin, from the blue stacking tin? No, we can't, dude. Six? Six green and white, black code cards. Gr green and black. Kind of wild. All right, we got a fire energy. I don't know if that's just unlucky or bad. We got a lombre. Got a Rescue Carrier, a Rayhan, a Sableye, Applin, got a Cutie Fly, a Tim Pole, a nice looking Eevee, Shopping Center, Reverse Hollow, and then we have a Stoutland. So the blue tin, if you pick the blue tin, it's an automatic loss in my book. Didn't really get anything good. That's gonna be an L. Right now we have the grass tin in the lead. And then our last tin we have is going to be the lightning or electric tin. We have Manetric on the side. We have, I don't know the Pokemon name, but we have Electivire and then Pikachu. So gotta be the best packs. It has to be. All right, let's pull out the coin. It is indeed gonna be a Pikachu. So this is definitely the um, most popular tin people get. I almost thought that I only got two packs out of it because I didn't see. It was flattened, but again, the same two packs. Ooh, that looks promising. I always like when the uh, Sylveon's on the front. All right, let's switch it up. Let's go Vivid Voltage first and then Chilling Rain. Maybe that'll give it a different luck here, but again, this is my pick to win. I didn't, you know, rig the packs or anything. I just have a feeling this is going to give me the best hits in here. All right, we have Black and White Code Card. It's a good start. Good start. Let's take a look at the back. Uh, not half bad, not the best. It's like 60-40 on the on Heavy Delight. All right, we have a Fire Energy, a Stone Energy, 
an electric Kakuna. Got a Talo. A Charmander. Very cool. Got a Wooper. Glaring me out. A Cottony. Reverse Hollow Duskull. And we have a Drapion V. So, in my opinion, I would pick the Rayquaza Amazing Rare over the Drapion V. So, right now, V. Grass Tin is still in the lead. But if we get another hit, then I will definitely pick the Lightning Tin over it. So, there's one. Lightning Tin on top. Let's find out. Black and white code card. Is it going to be? Here's the moment of truth. It is not. It is another green and white code card. So the hits out of these stacking tins don't seem to be that good. At all. So it is what it is. We got a Metal Energy. A Crushing Gloves. A Curlia. Justified Gloves. A Farfetch'd. Furfru. Venipede. Spiel. Kabaler. Reverse Hollow Kabaler. And then a Zeb Strika. So yeah... My opinion so far is maybe you should not pick up these stacking tins. I mean, if you want them just for the tins, yeah, do it. But for the packs inside, you don't really get all that lucky. Um, and you pretty much get what you pay for with them. Like, you get one Evolving Skies and two, like, semi-okay packs. So, don't know. And these seem like they're, they're repents because they come off, the, like, packaging comes off so easily. Like, I don't know if that's a thing. Um, so, like a reprint. And green and white again, so yeah, not the best, not the best. Probably go elsewhere. Um, you have a Darkness Energy, a Rayhan, an Avalug, a Vigoroth, a Love Disc, got a Bagon, Pumpkaboo, Tentacool, Emolga. I mean, that's pretty cool. We have a Reverse Hollow Entei, and we have a Lilligant. That shine right there was a little scam. Like I was like, oh okay, there's something. It was like this. I was like, there's gotta be something good behind there. No, it's a little gint. Anyway, not not half bad. I wouldn't really call this like another hit, but it is a nice card, so I'll put that on the sleeve. And we're gonna go ahead and give the W to the grass tin for the Equaza Amazing Rare as our only hit. My opinion, maybe don't pick these up for the packs. But for the tins, they're really nice. They stack on top of each other. Like, look. They fit perfectly. And then the third one fits too. So if you're into stacking stuff, I'd say go for it. But if you're into just the cards, definitely not. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.